presenting The Adventures of Jungle Jim. When Jungle Jim said goodbye to Lee Wong last week, he set out on a speedboat to board the steamer Manchu, which was about to sail for the coast of Borneo, the center of operations of that notorious criminal known as the Ghost of the Java Seas, who had wrecked the shipping business of Dutch Crons and is now preparing to treat Jim's friend, Lee Wong, in a similar fashion. Hardly is the speedboat with Jim and Kolu aboard underway when the ominous whine of bullets from a high-powered rifle warns them that some of the ghost henchmen have picked up their trail. Observing a boat following them, Jim turns to the man at the wheel to give him his instructions and finds himself staring into the muzzle of a gun. For one of the ghost gang has done away with Lee Wong's man and taken his place. But before he can fire, Kolu jumps him, knocks the gun from his hands, and sends him over the side. Jungle Jim then heads back for the shore, but the pursuing boat swings in a wide arc to cut him off. Noting this move, Jim heads once more for the open sea. Then, lashing the wheel so that the boat will hold its course, he and Kolu lower themselves cautiously over the side and, unobserved by their pursuers, strike out for the shore. They are picked up by Lee Wong and his men, who had heard the shooting and came to the rescue. And now, it is the following morning. Lee Wong is in his office, talking on the telephone to Dutch Kranz, and again offering him financial assistance in rebuilding his ruined shipping business. As I told you before, Dutch, My heart is with you in your misfortune. Believe me, I am ready to do everything in my power. But I I am not concerned about your ability to repay me. The guards have seen fit to smile upon my enterprises so that today I am a rich man. I, I assure you that you are perfectly free to draw upon me for as much as you may require. No? Very well. But if you ever change your mind, not at all, Dutch. I look forward to seeing you in the very near future. Goodbye. Master! Master! I am here, Lay soon. I, I have just come from Marketplace, Master. It was there, doubtless, that you observed a spectacle which has occasioned such great excitement. What did you observe, Lai Sung? I saw Shanghai Lil, Master. Shanghai Lil? Yes, Master. What was she doing, Lai Sung? She was in shop of Akim, the dealer in gems, Master. But it was not gems which she talked about with Akim. You heard their conversation? Yes, Master. Akim has fled. Tai Po, who has just returned from expedition into jungle. Tai Po brought his friend, Akim, a gift as token of deep affection. What was this gift, Lai Sung? A cobra, Master. Hmm. Akim has kept the deadly beast in a box in his shop. But it is not there now. You mean that Shanghai Lil bought the snake from him? And paid dearly for it. She left the shop of Akim carrying it. In a box. That means that she had immediate need of it. Now, Lai Sung, look deep into the well of your wisdom and answer this question for me. What does a Shanghai Lil intend doing with the cobra? <laughs> Meanwhile, in the office of Harvey Brandt, whom Jim suspects of being either the ghost himself or one of his ablest lieutenants, Brandt is venting his wrath on Ryan, one of his men. Next time I want a job done, I'll hire one of those Sunday school teachers from the mission to do it. The whole thing was planned perfectly. All you had to do was follow my orders. But you haven't even got sense enough to do as you're told. Hold on a moment, Brandt. Hold on my foot. You could have taken him without a struggle. And the biggest menace of our plans would be out of our way once and for all. But what do you do? 
You let him slip through your fingers like a sap. And now we got the whole thing to do all over again. Well, I'd like to know what you'd have done if you were in my place. It's a cinch I couldn't have made a worse mess of it. Chasing an empty boat around half the night while Jim... Well, how do I know it was empty? We never got close enough Maybe to Maybe you got as close as you wanted to get. Yeah, Ryan? What do you mean by that, Craig? Figure it out on your own time. Yeah, I got it figured out right now. And I'm not taking that from you or anyone else. From now on, you can get someone else to do your dirty work. I'm through, Brent. Oh, no, you're not. No? You heard me. You know, too much for your own good. And maybe for mine. Mm, you needn't worry. I'm no squealer. I don't know whether you are or not, but I'm not taking any chances. You're going to stay right here until I'm through with it. That's you. what you think. That's right. And here's why I think it. Huh? Put away that gun, Brant, before I... Before I... you what? If I hear any more out of you, I'll fill you so full of holes that... Who's there? It's me, Lil. Come in. We'll talk about this later, Ryan. I'll be right here. You will if you know what's good for you. Are you dirty? Gentlemen, please. Here I come in all bursting with good news, and what do I find? Two grown-up men quarreling like a couple of schoolboys. I'm ashamed of you. I got plenty of reason to be sore, Lil. Here we have Jungle Jim right in our hands, and this sap lets him get away. And I found him again. What? That's my good news. I disguised myself as a Burmese girl this morning and started to make the rounds of the waterfront cafes. In no time at all, I spotted Jungle Jim and Kolu having breakfast. I walked right past them, and they never even noticed me. I trailed them from the cafe to the Manchu. The Manchu? That's one of Lee Wong's ships. Yeah, the one that Jungle Jim was trying to get aboard last night. She canceled her midnight sailing when he didn't make it, and she's due to go out with the tide this morning. That means she'll be sailing in half an hour. We gotta work fast. I haven't wasted any time. I want this box delivered to Jungle Jim immediately. What is it, a bomb? No, bright boy. It isn't a bomb. Think I want to wreck the ship and have the Navy Department come down on us like a ton of brick? This is a little surprise that I figured out for myself. Want to let us in on it? <laughs> and they say women are curious. All right, Brant. Have a look. Good Lord, Lil. Cute idea, don't you think? Figured it out all yourself, huh? Mm-hmm. Boy, oh, boy, I'd hate to have you soar at me. Get hold of one of your native boys, Brant, one who can really run. I want this box delivered to Jungle Jim aboard the Manchu immediately. I'll take care of it, Lil. I'll have my own boy deliver it. He'll be there in ten minutes flat. Does that mean you're not sore anymore, Brant? We'll take that up later. Right now, we've got a job to do. And if it's done right, we'll put Mr. Jungle Jim where he won't ever bother us again. Get the lead out. Show a little life, can't you? We've got a boat to load and we can't take all day about it. Oh, blimey, I never seen such a screwy bunch in all my life outside of a hospital. What are you waiting for? Someone to hold your hands, maybe? Peter. Oh, get out of here, you blasted heathen. Can't you see I'm busy? You want me to dot your eye for you? Peter, we have package for Mr. Jim Bradley. Well, for the love of Peter, why did you say so? All right, come on up here and hand it over. Yes, sir. Here is box you give to Mr. Bradley. Very quick, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, here you, here you. Come back here. Now, what's the blinking idea? A dashing in here like a blinking eye, don't know what, and then dashing out again like what's a... What's the matter, Bosun? You sound as though you're worried about something. And who wouldn't be worried, I'd like to know. What with... Oh, oh, it's you, Mr. Bradley, sir. That's right. Well, this here box just come for you, sir. Well, who brought it? Well, that practically naked he then you can see uh, I tailing it down the dock, sir. <laughs> Gentleman seems to be in somewhat of a hurry. Well, that's what I was saying, sir. 
He comes dashing in here like a blinking I don't know what, and he goes dashing out again yes, like yes, a... Yes, I heard all that before, Bosun. Take the box into my cabin, Colo. Yes, go on. Wait, there's a note stuck on the lid, sir. A sort of billy do, as you might say. Where is it? Let's see it, Colo. Yes, go on. Oh, it's from Lil. With every good wish for a pleasant voyage. That means she's still in Singapore. But how does she know where I am? I've kept my eyes open, and I'll swear we weren't being watched or followed. I watched too, Tuan, but I no see her. Shanghai Lil, very clever, I think. Almost too clever. Well, get the box into my cabin, and we'll see what... Oh, by the way, Boson, where is my cabin? Uh, there's your quarters, Mr. Bradley. The second door on the left, right beside the skipper. Thanks. Come along, Colonel. Yes, Tuan. This door, I think, Tuan. Right you are. Ah, not bad for a freighter, eh, Colo? Looks clean and comfortable enough. Yes, Thorne. What shall I do with box? Put it here on the table, Colo, and we'll have a look at it. Ah, got holes punched in the lid. I think Shanghai Lil up to more devilment, Thorne. Well, if she is, we'll be prepared for her. Wait. All right, Colo. My gun's ready. Open the box. A cobra! Shoot, Thorne! Shoot quickly! Stand clear, Colo. I'm going to let him have it. Shoot, Thorne! Shoot! I can't. My gun's jammed. That fire act on the wall. Quick, Colo. No, Thorne. If I move, he will strike. Colo, there's only one chance. Toss me your gun. Move slowly now, but toss it over to me. Yes, Thorne. Here it is. Now, Colo, stand still. Oh, only Gawak on the dock. Yeah, that cut it. But almost the hooded one got us to one. We weren't careful enough, Kolu. And it's got to be a lesson to us. That snake, deadly as it is, is no more deadly than the combination we're up against. The ghost and Shanghai Lil. We've got to be on our toes every single instant. Because if we slip, even once, we're done. <laughs> When Shanghai Lil learns that her deadly trick fails, what will she attempt? Will the ghost strike again before the ship leaves Singapore? Don't miss the next thrilling adventure of Jungle Jim in his battle with Shanghai Lil and the ghost of the Java Sea. Next week, same time, same station. <laughs> The Adventures of Jungle Jim are dramatized from the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly. The Big Comic Weekly is distributed each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper, the world's greatest array of humor and adventure, together with all the famous characters who live in the world of full-color action pictures are to be found in the Comic Weekly. Follow the humorous adventures of Diggs and Maggie, Barney Google, The Little King, Tips and Casper, as well as the thrilling adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. They'll all be waiting for you in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly in your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And remember, next week, same time, same station, for the further thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim. <laughs>